Hello and welcome to our mineral identification challenge. Before you get started, please head over to science.mikesamartano.com slash minerals. There you'll be able to download the worksheet as well as the properties of common minerals table. This is a page out of the New York State Earth Science Reference Tables, and it shows you information about common minerals on Earth. Um, I've gone over a lot of this content in other videos, so be sure to check those out. But just to run through real quick, this is essentially a table showing the most common minerals on Earth and their characteristics, including the luster, hardness, cleavage and fracture, common colors, distinguishing characteristics, which is a very important column, common uses, composition or what the mineral is composed of, and of course the name of the mineral. Now once you've gotten everything together, a couple tips before you get started. First of all, uh, click pause after each image. Be sure to look at the image for clues. Um, you may see colors, lusters, etc. in the actual image that will help you with the identification. And of course, most importantly, use that minerals table to find the answers. And if you're ready to go, let's begin. So sample number one looks like this. It displays metallic luster, as you can see, and it is an extremely dense mineral. Sample two looks like this. It is an ore of iron, and it displays fracture. It has a hardness of between 5.5 and 6.5. Sample three looks like this. Of course, it has a brassy yellow color and it displays fracture. If you were to do a streak test to see what it looks like as a powder, you would see a greenish black streak. Sample four looks like this. It is an extremely soft mineral with a greasy feel. Sample five looks like this, has a hardness of between one and two, displays cleavage, and is composed of carbon. Sample six can look like this. It may have an odor of rotten eggs and has a hardness of two. It is also a native mineral, meaning it's composed of only one element. Sample seven looks like this. It displays cleavage, has a hardness of two to 2.5 on the Mohs scale, and when it breaks apart, it does so as a flexible thin sheet. Sample eight looks like this. It's frequently used in drywall and is very easily scratched. Sample nine looks like this. It has a hardness of two and a half to three, and it displays cleavage. Similar to a previous sample, it's also flexible in sheets. Sample 10 looks like this. If you were to put acid on it, it would bubble up. It is frequently used in cement. Sample 11 looks like this. It contains the element magnesium and has a hardness of 3.5. And while it's hard to see here, it does display cleavage. Sample 12 looks like this. It has visible striations and a hardness of six, and it too displays cleavage. Sample 13 looks like this, has a hardness of five to six and is commonly called augite. Sample 14 may look like this and contains the elements carbon and fluorine. It also cleaves in four directions. Sample 15 may look like this and contains iron and displays fracture. Sample 16 looks like this is frequently used in ceramics and displays cleavage. Sample 17 may look like this and is commonly used in electronics, as well as being a quite hard mineral which displays fracture. 
Sample 18 looks like this, is commonly used in jewelry, has a non-metallic luster. Sample 19 looks like this, displays interesting cubic cleavage and contains sodium and chlorine. Sample 20 looks like this, and when tested for streak, leaves a reddish-brown powdered color and contains iron and oxygen. Sample 21 looks like this, has a very complex composition and may cleave at 56 degree angles. Nice job on our mineral identification challenge. Again, check out this and more resources at science.mikesamartano.com/minerals. Thanks for watching.